Diyos. Maraming salamat po sa buhay at lakas na aming tagnay. Sa liwanag ng kaisipan at sa pagkakataon, maipagpatuloy ang pag-aaral ng mga kabataan. Gabay mo po ang bawat isa sa amin. Ano man ang bahagi na nagdangampanan, naway maging maayos at matagumpay ang pagtuturo at pag-aaral na aming gagawin sa araw na ito. Patawarin mo po kami sa aming mga pagkulang at pagkakasala. At sa aming paggawa, ikaw po ang aming makasama. Amen. Welcome to Valenzuela Live Cookery Pen. I am Miss Maikaiza Embalayan from my San National High School, and I'm glad to be your teacher for today. It's a wonderful day, and I hope you're safe and healthy. Are you ready to gain more knowledge today? If yes, please prepare your learning module, pen, and paper to guide you in our lesson. Together, let us enjoy learning. To start our lesson, allow me to give you the learning competency of today's lesson. Prepare stocks, sauce, and soup. Under this is the learning outcomes. Prepare soup for the required item. 2.1, select and assemble correct ingredients in preparing soups, including stocks and garnishes. 2.2, prepare variety of soup recipes according to enterprise standards. 2.3, present and evaluate soup recipes in accordance with the criteria. And at the end of the lesson, you are expected to do this in specific objectives. Number one, enumerate the various ingredients in preparing soups. Two, prepare soup recipe by following its basic principles correctly. Three, appreciate the importance of soup in a meal. All right. Let us first have a game to check if you fully understand your previous lesson. I will show you a picture and some hints for you to identify what is being asked. I will only give you five seconds to answer and don't forget to comment down your answers at the comment box. Are you ready? Number one, your five seconds starts now. If your answer is fish stock, you are correct. Next, number two, five seconds starts now. If your answer is white stock, you are correct. Number three, your five seconds starts now. The correct answer is Vegetable stock. Number four, timer starts now. If your answer is chicken stock, you are correct. Last number. Number five, five seconds it starts now. The correct answer is ground stock. Good job, grade 10. And are you ready for another game? Let us play first letter game. Directions. Supply the first missing letter to complete each word. I'll give you an example. The first picture is a mango that starts with letter M. The second picture is an egg and it starts with letter E. The third picture is an apple that starts with letter A. And the last picture is a taco that starts with letter T. We've already completed the missing word, which is meat. Now it's your turn. Are you ready? Don't forget to comment down your answers. I'm giving you 10 seconds for each picture. Let's start. Number one, 10 seconds starts now. The answer is salt. Next. Number two, timer starts now.
The correct answer is onion. Next. Number three, 10 seconds starts now. If your answer is urgent, you are correct. Last. 10 seconds starts now. If your answer is pepper, you are right. Based on the words that we identify, salt, onion, urchin, and pepper, what do you think is our lesson for today? Look at the first letter of the words. We form the word soup. Do you have any idea about our topic for today? Yes, you are correct. Our topic for today is all about soup. Specifically, the classification of soup. Let's start by defining soup. Soup are based on stocks added with other ingredients for the variety of flavor consistency, appearance, and aroma. We have three classification of soup. The first one is a clear soup. Our soup based on a clear, thickened broth or stock. A good quality broth should be clear, aromatic, and rich tasting with a very evident flavor of the major ingredients. Examples of clear soup are broth and bouillon. Simple clear soup without solid ingredients. Vegetable soup. Our clear season stock or broth with the addition of one or more vegetable, meat, or poultry. Consomme. Rich, flavorful stock or broth that has been clarified to make it perfectly clear and transparent. The second classification of soup is thick soup. Soups that are taken to provide heavy consistency. Thick soup is a cream uh, soup based on bechamel sauce and is finished with a heavy cream. A thick soup should have a velvety smooth texture and the thickness of a heavy cream. Examples of thick soup are cream soup, our soup thickened with raw, vermani, lazy sands or other thickening agents, plus milk or cream. Puree. Vegetable soup thickened with starch. This are thickened soup made from shellfish. Chowders are hearty soup made from fish. Shellfish or vegetable usually contain milk and potatoes. The last example of thick soup is velouté. Soup thickened with egg, butter, and cream. And the last classification of soup is the other types of soup. Letter A, dessert soup like pinataan, a Filipino soup made from coconut milk, fruit, and tapioca copper served hot or cold. Osheriku, a Japanese sasuke bean soup. Tonsui, a Chinese soup. Letter B, fruit soup. Can be served hot or cold depending on the recipe where dried fruits are used like raisins and prawns. Fruit soup may include milk, sweet or savory dumplings, spices or alcoholic beverages like brandy and champagne. Letter C, cold soup. Variation on the traditional soup where in the temperature when served is kept at or below room temperature. Letter D, Asian soup. A traditional soup which is typically broth, clear soup or starch thickened soup. Now, Let's have a game called Jumbled Letters. I know you are very familiar with this game. Directions. Arrange the scrambled letters to form the correct word. I'm giving you five seconds to answer. And don't forget to comment down your answers. Are you ready? Let's start. Number one, type in your answer for five seconds. If you answered rice, you are correct. Next. Number two, timer starts now.
The correct answer is flour. Number three, key in your answer for five seconds. Yes, the correct answer is grain. Last, number four, five seconds starts now. If you answered quite starch, you are correct. Based on your answers, rice, flour, grain, and cornstarch, what do you think are their similarities? Any idea? Yes, they are all thickening agents for soup. Now, here are the ingredients of soup. Meat, like chicken, beef, pork, lamb, and fish. Salt, pepper, onion, vegetables like carrots, string beans, turnips, garlic, tomatoes, mushroom, celery, and leek. Eggs, cornstarch, butter, seasoning like MSG and convenience product, cream, garnishes like slice of lemon, egg, shredded vegetables, and pimiento strips. Now, let's move to the basic principles of preparing soup. Number one, start with cold water. Most protein, vitamins, and minerals dissolve in cold water. Part of the flavor comes from these components. Using hot water would lessen the flavor and nutritive content of stock. Number two, Cutting vegetables to appropriate size for the type of stock. The size of cut helps the maximum flavor to be extracted. For example, a fish stock only simmers for half an hour or 30 minutes. So the cut should be julienne thin strip, 1 quart inch thick, and 2 to 3 inches long. Let's integrate our lesson with mathematics. Do you know how to measure one fourth inch using a ruler? Let me show you. It is better if you have a ruler with you like this one. Let's first find the one inch. So where is the one inch? Yes, that is correct. One inch is where the number one is. And if you will cut it into half, that is where the one half inch is. So where is the one fourth inch? Let me show you. If you will cut one half inch into half, that is where the one fourth inch is. Do you understand? Let us continue our lesson. Number three, select your protein based beef, chicken, pork, and fish. All bones are washed, roasted, or blanched. Roasted for brown sauce and blanched for white stock. Number four, simmering. Gentle extraction aid in the flavoring and nutrition. Boiling causes cloudiness through agitation of the ingredients. Number five, skimming. Keep the stock clear. The scum on top of the stock contains impurities. To assess if you understand our lesson for today, I have here a simple game. For the direction, Identify the group of the soup according to their classification. Choose the color of casserole to which the soup should be stored. If it is clear soup, it should be stored in red. If it's thick soup, it should be in the blue casserole. And if it's another type of soup, then it should be stored in the yellow casserole. Choose the correct casserole and comment down your answer in the comment box. I'm giving you 5 seconds to answer. Number one, dessert soup, five seconds starts now. The correct answer is yellow, other type of soup. Next, number two, puree soup, five seconds starts now. If your answer is blue, Thick soup, you are correct. Number three, cold soup, five seconds starts now.
The correct answer is yellow. Other type of soup. Number four, chowders. Five seconds starts now. If your answer is blue, thick soup, you are correct. Number five, vegetable soup. Five seconds starts now. I hope you choose red because the correct answer is clear soup. Number six, velote. Five seconds starts now. The correct answer is blue thick soup. Number seven, consomme. Five seconds it starts now. If you answered red, clear soup, then you got it right. Number eight, fruit soup. Five seconds it starts now. The correct answer is yellow, other type of soup. Number nine, broth and bouillon. Five seconds, this starts now. If you choose red, clear soup, then you got it right. Last number, number 10, Asian soup. Five seconds. The correct answer is yellow, other type of soup. Great job, grade 10 learners. You really did a good job in identifying the different classification of soup. Do you want another brain exercise to check if you really understand our topic? Let's have a game called soup per no. Direction, analyze the following illustration to identify the answer. Let me give you an example. The illustration shows letter C plus a photo of an old man. If you analyze the picture, it is letter C plus old. So the answer will be cold. Are you ready? It's now your turn to answer. I'm giving you 10 seconds. Don't forget to comment down your answers in the comment box. Let's start. Number one, I'm giving you 10 seconds. Timer starts now. If your answer is seasoning, then you got it right. Next, number two, your 10 seconds starts now. The correct answer is cornstarch. Number three, key in your answer for 10 seconds. If you're answered soup, then you are correct. Next, number four, 10 seconds starts now. The correct answer is simmery. Last, your 10 seconds starts now. The correct answer is vegetable. Well done, grade 10 learners. Did you get a perfect score? Very good. To sum up our lesson for today, please complete these three lines. I know, I will apply, I will share. Write your answer in your activity notebook. But before you, I will give you mine. I know the classification of soup. I will apply the basic principles of preparing soup. I will share my knowledge about classification of soup to my family and friends. And for your assignment, 
collaborate with your family, follow and perform the given soup recipe in your module. You will be graded according to these rubrics. If you have any question, don't hesitate to communicate with your TLE subject teachers. They love to assist you and to clarify all your queries. I am very pleased that you have finished this lesson. Please do not forget this new learning and aim to learn more because ano man ang sitwasyon, tuloy ang edukasyon. Again, I am Miss Maikaisa Embalayan, your TLE teacher from my son National High School. Thank you and stay safe, Valenzuelans.